Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I will be showing you what I usually do before I go to bed on school nights. Make sure you subscribe and click that notification bell so you can be part of the family. So I usually use an oat scrub and I'm in the shower and I use this rose scented makeup wipes to take off my makeup. And it is a Monday night here. And hopefully if I have some time, I will maybe paint my nails. I know I didn't have time to do that. But now I'm just taking out my hair it through and lately I've been watching iCarly have you been watching iCarly oh wow my hair have you been watching iCarly so I use the pattern beauty leave-in conditioner and a comb make sure you subscribe click the notification bell so my hair is not dry when I get into the shower so I just wanted to take that out to show you what I use when I'm in the shower I just usually comb through my hair yeah, and I could not get that makeup wipe out now I'm just taking all the makeup off my face and it smells really good by the way, that's why I just inhaled it. Now I've been wearing lashes lately. I've been wearing Kiss lashes and I really like them. I still need to practice and get better at them, but I like the Kiss lashes. Yes, I'm still taking off my makeup and I like doing this just to get all my makeup off because washing your face really isn't enough for me. I know I wash my face like intensely, but I like wiping off my makeup too. Remember that episode of iCarly when Spencer got water stuck in his ear? <laughs> I hope that made you laugh, but I'm just imitating that. But I got out the shower and now my hair is all moisturized and nice and ready for growth. And I use a shirt to dry my hair because if you use a towel, you can dry out your hair, which isn't good because you want to, you want your hair to be damp so it's still wet and the moisture still stays in your hair. So that's what I'm doing. Oh my gosh, there's still conditioner in the middle of my scalp. I hope I saw that. And now I'm just putting on, I call it like a sleep headband. Makes me feel all comfortable and ready for bed, even though I will be studying still. <laughs> And getting ready for the next day all right I use these two things on my face Vaseline for my lips and this herbal shave product for my skin if you have eczema like me and it flares up from time to time this is what I use on my skin it is hypoallergenic and it is very nice it keeps my skin moisturized and smooth and helps with the eczema Make sure you subscribe and click that notification bell, especially if you like college vlogs or just vlogs in general. Always let me know down below in the comments if there's any vlogs that you want me to try or any videos that you want me to try in general, especially if you're just a new subscriber or you've been a subscriber for a while. Let me know what content you want to see by me. I try to clean up my room and clean up my area because my desk is always the most messiest place ever in my room. So I try to clean up just in case I want to go on campus the next day or if I just want to know what I've completed and just to have some space on my desk. And yes, I try to choose which color light that I want to have and I always like the blue for nighttime. Make sure you're drinking your water. All right, so tonight I'll be working on my accounting flashcards because I have a presentation coming up and I just wanna know what I'll need to say. So I just like writing everything out and have a PowerPoint and everything. And I'll also be working on my essay for philosophy, which is coming up soon also. And lastly, I will be making sure that I am actually prepared for Bible study and reading my Acts book for Delight Ministries and taking some notes. And then after that, I'm going to sleep, okay? Make sure you subscribe and click on the notification bell.
I just wanted to share with you the quote in my Delight Ministries book. It says, Holiness is directly tied to the deepest place of intimacy with the Lord. Hey, everyone. Hey, gorgeous humans. That's what I usually say. Is that? Oh, that is not what we're doing. All right, I want to come on here and be honest. Now, this week has been one of the most important, knock on my heart type of weeks. It has not been the best. I'm not gonna say, I'm good, hey, how you doing? No, I'm not doing that. I'm going to be real right now. It's been tough. And this is the week right before midterms. So it's normal to have stress, but it's been more than distress. Like my body is really feeling the stress and I just need to take care of myself. So I have not been filming, but I love YouTube so much and this channel means a lot to me. So I just wanted to come on here and say that I've been stressed. I have, and that's why I haven't been filming and I haven't really been on campus that much. I'm still attending my classes because you know I've done tons of online because that's the best thing. I just, I just know that I'm glad that I have people in my life to support me and I have God, but I haven't been back in a while. I did go to therapy because you can go to therapy at JU. It's called counseling. Just putting that out there because mental health is important and I'm not ashamed to talk about mental health. It's important. So I think I might make an appointment tomorrow or next week sometime if I can. Tomorrow I only have one class because tomorrow's Friday, today's Thursday. We have one class. I might make an appointment just to sit down and talk to someone about how stressed I've been. I've been this this stressed in a while. Just a different kind of stress. Like, you know your body. I know my body. I understand and I just need to be a little bit harder on myself when it comes to taking care of myself. And I'm realizing that now because I want to do well in these midterms. I gotta take care of this and take care of this. I don't know if I will be on campus tomorrow. And I'm sad about that because I have all these plans, you know, to film certain things so you can see more of the Jackson University campus because I am a commuter. A commuter is a person that stays at home, that doesn't stay on campus. I don't know if I'll be able to go tomorrow. I went today. I was on campus Tuesday and Thursday because I have work study. I am a desk assistant in the library. So I came to, you know, complete my hours Tuesday and Thursday, two hours. Tuesday and Thursday from 11 to 1. So I did that. I came to school for that. But then I stayed home and did my classes online because I just know my body, my body is going through a lot because I'm stressed and I need to take care of that and I feel more comfortable being at home but when next week rolls around I don't want to be at home of course I want to be on the campus and everything so hopefully this weekend I can really de-stress myself even though next week is midterms but I'm gonna do everything I can to take care of myself do it for God, I'm gonna do it for myself and the people around me. I just wanted to come on here and say that I'll be working on taking care of myself. I have been stressed out. I haven't even been motivated enough to get on here, which is crazy because that's how you know that you need to take care of yourself more when the things that you love to do become a chore. They should not be a chore. It shouldn't feel like, oh, I have to do this. I'll make sure I do this. But you feel a little drained and you shouldn't feel that way. So that's when you need to take a step back and maybe journal, color, talk to someone, pray and meditate. And I'm going to try to do any and all those things to feel better. But it felt good coming on here and talking to you all. I don't know everyone who watches my videos, but I just hope that I inspire you number one take care of yourself number two i make you laugh or I make you feel better especially if you're not having a good day or you're just tired you just come and see my face i hope it makes you feel better and number three so you don't feel alone but 
I don't know if this will be my last part of this vlog because I'm not sure if I'll be on campus tomorrow but it's okay to not be okay but don't say that way oh I know what I was gonna say so that empty place in your heart that you feel when you feel alone and empty that's when you're trying to live this life on your own and I think I've pretty much been doing that just a little bit which is not good because I know that God is in control so I don't know what I thought I was doing I can't hold myself together <laughs> and I've been very worried about the future too that's not good either because I need to stay here and now in the present but yes worried about the future stressed out about tomorrow and I can't be I need to get back and confide in Jesus and when you feel that emptiness in your heart Jesus is the only one that can fill it. And I have to remember that myself. Yes, I'm a Christian. Yes, I go to church. Yes, I'm a part of Delight Ministries. If you want me to talk more about Delight Ministries, let me know down in the comments. Okay, <laughs> I said that really fast. But if you want me to talk more about Delight Ministries, let me know down in the comments. I have been joined a small group at my church to get out of my comfort zone. But all those things are great, you know? And posting about God is great. And But being with Him... And having those worship moments is what feels the emptiness in my heart. And I've just been so school first, school first. I gotta do this, I gotta do that. I have to make sure I'm doing these things so I can graduate on time. What place I'm gonna work out after this? What I'm gonna do with this YouTube channel? But it's just all over the place. I don't know where all those worried thoughts came from, but I just have to remember and I have to remember that I need to take care of myself and God is first. Yes, school is important, but God is first. Whew. Gotta remember that. And I hope that you remember that too. And I hope this video wasn't too disappointing. I did have lashes on today. I did. But I took them off because they were peeling. And I'm scared to cut them because I like the way they look. I put them on but I've gotten better I need some tweezers though to apply them but I've been using my mirror this mirror I've been using this mirror to apply the lashes and that's been helping me out so we will see we will see if this is the end of the video or if I go on campus tomorrow or if I just film tomorrow because the next vlog which will be the wow seventh week of school time is flying and I would just be vlogging me studying. That's it. Me studying wherever. Home, JU, any place. I'll just be vlogging me studying because next week is midterms week. And midterms week starts, yes, it starts next week and goes all the way up until March 18th. Hold on, look at my calendar. I also have to show you my calendar. I did clean it up and fix it for March. Okay. Midterms start March 8th and they go all the way until March 18th. So that means that I'll either have a midterm for a class or a paper due or something or a few assignments before I see how I'm doing in the class in general and grades are due March 18th. So I just say that midterms go from March 8th to March 18th. Hope that makes sense. So yeah, I'll be studying showing how i study all that good stuff then after that once midterms are over i'll know how i'm doing in classes probably be less stressed but i'll definitely be taking care of myself every single day i just let that i just let school go over everything which is normal but i'm glad i'm recognizing it now so i can get back up there get back up to god first take care of yourself school friends and family you know the own building block but i really hope you're doing okay are you doing okay are you checking in on yourself i saw a instagram post about that thought it was really cool like don't wait for people to check on you check on yourself i love that so are you checking on yourself i'm gonna start doing that you should too so how are you doing are you truly okay 
have you been working on loving yourself? I know you have a lot of things in life that you're doing. Have you been working on loving yourself? Have you been giving yourself breaks and time to breathe and space in life? Because I know I haven't, so I need to get back on that. Self-care is so important, it really is. That's all I wanted to say, and if this is the end, of the vlog i just want to say thank you for watching make sure you subscribe click that notification bell and i hope you have a great week a great month and you know that jesus loves you and that you are loved all right gorgeous humans